AI avatars have become a huge trend over the last couple of months, and a lot of creators have been using them to grow faceless channels, build audiences across different platforms, and even build businesses, while AI does most of the heavy lifting for them. I get messages almost every day asking how to create avatars like these, and that's exactly why in today's video, I'm going to walk you through the full process, so that by the end of this video, you'll learn how to create your first AI avatar. But here's the thing, creating an AI avatar usually means spending hours testing different tools, and in the process, process, you can end up wasting money on results that aren't even that good. And because of that, I want to share a tool that I've found which is easy to use and delivers results that are actually good. The tool I'm talking about is called CapCut, which you've probably seen me use in my videos many times before, and they've just released a brand new AI dialogue feature. I tested it out, and honestly, the results came out way better than I expected. Now today's video is going to be broken down into three key steps. In the first step, I'll show you how to use the new AI dialogue feature to create an avatar with pre-made assets in just a few minutes. Next, I'll walk you through how to make a custom avatar using a simple prompt, and even generate full AI videos from a single image. And to wrap it up, I'll share a few additional features that can help you stand out and make your personal brand even stronger. Now to start off, you need to download CapCut on your computer. Using their main website, I've put the link in the description. Now downloading CapCut is very simple. Just click the download button and it will start right away. Once it's finished, you'll only need to click through a few buttons to complete the installation. And that's pretty much it. Once you're in, you'll see a few different features that are pretty useful, but for this step we're going to use the new AI dialogue feature, so go ahead and open it. Once that's done, as you can see, the AI dialogue feature opens automatically on the left side. In the menu next to it, you'll also find some additional features, which we'll get to shortly. Now to start off, you first need to upload an image of your avatar into the main image section, and in my case, I've uploaded an image of a girl with her dog sitting right next to her. Once the image is uploaded, you'll notice that this feature automatically detects the two characters in the image and separates them. From here, you can simply select the avatar that will be doing the talking, and the lip sync will be applied only to the one you've chosen. In my case, I'll select the girl. Now, right below the character section, you will find the script section where you can enter your own script for the voiceover. You can also upload your own voiceover if you like, and you can even record your voice directly from here. In my case, I will enter a short script of the girl talking about her dog and how the dog is always right next to her. Now, right below the script section, you will find find a list of voices that you can use for the voiceover, and these voices are actually pretty good and high quality. You can also filter all of the voices by clicking on the More Voices button. Here you'll find a few filters to search with, but just as an example, I'll select the Trending Voices filter, since the voices in this list are the most popular. Now you can go through them and find the one you like the most. In my case, I'll select the Bianca voice since it perfectly matches the character in our image. Now that we've selected a voice that matches our avatar and entered our own script, right below that, you'll see that this will cost 125 credits, which is pretty cheap. To generate the final video, simply click the Generate button on the right side, and just like that, the generation process will start. The video will automatically be added to the timeline, and we just have to wait for it to finish. But don't worry, this process is pretty fast, and once it's done, as you can see, the entire video will be ready, and it was really easy to create. So now, let's finally see how it came out. This is Max, he's basically my shadow. Wherever I go, He's right there next to me. As you can see, the voice matches the avatar perfectly, and the lip sync is really on point. The movements of both the girl and the dog are also great, which makes the whole video feel more realistic. All right, now let me show you how to create your own customized avatar image in CapCut using just a single prompt, which we'll then use to make our own talking avatar video. To start off, if you head over to the menu on the left side, you'll find the AI image feature, so go ahead and open it. Once you're in, you'll see that the first step is to enter an image prompt. For this example, I'll enter a prompt about about a man in his mid-twenties, facing the camera from the waist up. Then I have briefly described how he should look. Now, once the image prompt is ready, you'll see the generation models right below. There are three models here, and they all work pretty well, so feel free to try them out. For this example, I'll go with Image 2.0 Pro since it gives great results. Next, just below that, you'll find the aspect ratio settings. Here, you can pick from different ratios, but I'll set it to 16 by 9 because I want a horizontal image. Once that's done, simply click on the Generate button below, 
and the process will start. The generation process is really fast, usually around 10 seconds, and once it's done, your image will be ready. I'll move it to the top of the timeline, and as you can see, the result looks really good. Along with this, you'll also get three additional images, which you can switch between using the menu on the right side. As we go through them, you'll notice that all the generated images are high quality and look very realistic, which is exactly what we need. Now that all of the images are ready, just pick the one you like the most. Then, open the settings below it and click the download button to download the image. Once that's done, head over into the AI dialog feature in the menu on the left. Here, start by removing the old image and then upload the new one you've just created. Once that's done, the next step is to enter a script right below. For this example, I'll add a short script where the avatar introduces itself. After that, go down to the voice section and choose a voice for the voiceover. There are quite a few interesting options, but for this one, I'll pick the wacky voice since I like how it sounds. Now, once everything is set, just click the generate button and the generation process will start. This process usually takes about a minute, depending on the length of the script. And once it's done, as easy as that, we've just created our own talking avatar video. Now I'll move the video to the end of the timeline so it doesn't overlap with the other clips, and once that's set, let's play it back and see how it turned out. Hey, I'm Alex. Just thought I'd share a little piece of my day with you. As you can see, the video turned out really well. It's high quality, and both the lip sync and the avatar's motions look spot on. So now that I've shown you how to create a talking avatar video, let's move on to the next step, where I'll show you how to use CapCut's video feature to create stunning videos that you can use for your own faceless channel. To start off, open the AI video feature from the menu on the left. As you can see, this feature lets you create videos either from text or from images. For this example, we'll use the image to video option. The first step is to upload an image. In my case, I've uploaded an image of a girl swimming with a shark. Next, in the model section below, you'll see three different video models you can choose from. I'll go with the video 2.0 model since it delivers solid results and is also affordable. Once that's done, you'll see a few additional settings below. Here you can adjust the motion speed, tweak the camera control, and set the duration, which I'll set it at 5 seconds so we don't waste time. You can also choose the aspect ratio, which will automatically match the format of your image. In this case, it's 16 to 9. Once everything is ready, just click generate and the process will start. Since the process is always the same, I'll skip ahead and once it's finished, the video will be finally ready. Now I'll move it to the end of the timeline and let's take a look at how it turned out. As you can see, the video turned out really well. The motion and all the small details make it look almost like real life, and it was also very affordable. It costed us only 25 credits, which is really solid. Now, let me show you a really interesting feature that lets you create a talking avatar with just a few clicks. To do that, there's a feature called AI Avatars, which you'll find in the menu above, so go ahead and open it. To start, you can create your own avatar using the Create feature, or you can use a pre-made avatar. There's a pretty big list of high-quality options to choose from. From. For this example, I'll select one that's basically a podcast style avatar template. Once that's done, click the next button and you'll be taken to the voiceover settings. Here, you can upload your own audio if you want or enter your own script, which is what I'll do. I've entered a short script of the girl talking about aliens in her podcast, basically a quick introduction to the show. Next, below the script section, you'll need to choose a voice for the voiceover. For this example, I'll filter for the narration voices since they match the style of our template and then I'll select the maple voice because it sounds really good. Once everything is set, simply click the generate button and the process will start. Now just to save some time, I'll skip ahead and once the video is ready, I'll place it at the end of the timeline and finally, let's see how it turned out. Welcome to the show. In today's episode, we're diving into the fascinating world of aliens, what's out there and what it could mean for us. The video turned out really well. The hand movements, lip sync, and overall quality are just perfect. If you wanted to use this feature for your own business, I'd say it's a great choice, especially considering how affordable it is. Now that you know how to create a talking avatar using multiple features, let me show you something that can really help if you're thinking about starting your own clothing brand. And this one's really impressive, so watch closely. To start off, head back to the main menu in CapCut and open the AI fashion model feature. That's the one we'll be using. Once you're in, all the settings are on the left side. The first step is to upload an image of your clothes. For this example, I've uploaded an image of a man wearing blue jeans and a blue jacket. Once that's done, right below, you'll see multiple models and poses to choose from. You can also create your own model using AI or upload one if you already have it for your brand. I'll use the pre-made models for this example and select one that I like 
and then I'll choose another one too so we have a few different angles of the clothes. Once everything is set, just click the generate button and the process will begin. This process is pretty fast, usually around 20 seconds, and once it's done just like that, we've created our own fashion model with our clothes. As you can see, we now have two angles showing the outfit, and it's amazing how accurate this feature is. All the details from the clothes are exactly the same. You can also create different styles of models like this one I made here, a female model showcasing our clothes, and the results look really good. And with that done, I've shown you how to use all of the new features that CapCut offers, and now you'll be ready to apply them to your own videos. So if you're planning to start a faceless channel or pages on other social media platforms, these features can really help you save a lot of time. If you want me to make a more detailed video about a specific CapCut feature, let me know in the comments below. And as always, keep pushing, and I'll see you in the next one.